So Candace Owen, remember Candace Owen? You know Candace Owen. Uh, a, a popular right-wing uh, talk show host uh, who's been at the Daily Wire for a few years now, uh, came out of Turning Point USA, uh, went to Daily Wire, has a huge following, very, very popular on the right, uh, particularly among, among the MAGA right. Anyway, uh, Candace Owen is out, out at the Daily Wire. Probably fired, but it's not clear. Anyway, it uh, could be mutual agreement. Could she, she quit? Not clear. Nobody's saying Jeremy Boring, who is the CEO and co-founder with Ben Shapiro of The Daily Wire, uh, wrote Daily Wire and Candace Owen have ended their relationship. Couldn't see that one coming, huh? Uh, anyway, she's, uh, she's out. And uh, this is probably has to do with the fact that uh, she has been a vocal critic of any kind of American support uh, to Israel. She has flirted, or you could argue more than flirted, uh, with uh, anti-Semitic comments and anti-Semitic sentiments and blaming Ben Shapiro for being more aligned with Israel than with, the, uh, with America, similar to Tucker Carlson. I guess they get their same talking points from, I don't know, Bannon? I'm not sure who they get their talking points from. But anyway, uh, the two of them... Um, uh, so anyway, so Candace Owen is, uh, is out. Uh, the thing that probably triggered this particular action by the Daily Wire was the fact that Nick Fuentes, Nick Fuentes, known anti-Semite, not, well, you don't have to speculate, he just says it, known anti-Semite and general bigot and general horrible human being, uh, praised, uh, praised Candace Owen for her, uh, I guess standing up to the ADL or standing up against uh, some some uh, Jewish thing, uh, and even though she claims she doesn't know Nick Fuentes, I think that was kind of the, you know when 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 one of your hosts is being praised by Nick Fuentes, it's time to fire them. I think so. Uh, yeah, she's gone. Uh, Daily Wire now is Ben Shapiro, and and of course we got Matt Walsh, and and uh, so it's it's mainly kind of very religious conservatives, uh, reactionary conservatives, and um, we will see. We'll see if this has any kind of repercussions, if it has any kind of impact, greater impact on the right than what it is. But, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm, 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 hoping, I'm hoping that this will be uh, a demotion for Candace Owen. I hope she loses a bunch of followers. I hope she... Uh, fails at whatever she does next, but that's not my expectation because uh, I can't stand Candace Owen. I think she's horrible and has been for a long time. Uh, she was pretty good when she first came up as kind of a voice, uh, a, a voice against uh, certain woke policies, but she's just become a, a, a horrible mouthpiece for the alt-right and, and, and a number of different things her views are just awful. Anyway, I hope she fails. Uh, and, uh, yep, it's because I envy her, no question about that. Uh, so I hope she fails, and um, I also expect her to succeed. <laughs> I think she's due to do phenomenally well, because I think the, this part of the, uh, of the right, the alt-right, the MAGA-right, the American, uh, you know, isolationist, whatever, right, uh, is uh, on the rise. So her and Tucker Carlson are going to make a great team, and they might be the future of America. So, uh, uh, yeah, they might be the future of America. Anyway, some people think I criticize her because I envy her. She has a, she's like a gazillion times more popular than I am, and, 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 she's, a, and, and she's a lot less intelligent. So uh, I'm sure it's envy, right? That, that is the dominant thing I feel towards Candace Owen. All right.